And hello, hello again, my beautiful fire signs, Leo, Aries, Sash. Welcome to another episode of Tea and Tarot with Tanya. Okay, you guys, so just some info. We're changing up the way I do the videos just a little bit. Um, because I've been doing a lot of videos, and it takes a lot to do all 12 signs and then only get, you know, maybe 5 or 10 views on certain ones where other ones are getting hundreds or thousands of views, okay? So, um, what we're going to do from now on is I'm going to do by elements. So, this will be the fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sag, okay? Um, but what I'm doing is if your video gets the most views, I will do a bonus video for that element. Now, um, also for you to get a bonus read for your sign where I'll do a video just for your sign, just comment your sign down in the comment box. The sign with the most um, comments for their sign will get a bonus video for, for them, okay? And I'm um, going to do this, I guess, like once a week, you guys, okay? So every week, um, whoever has the most will get a bonus video for that week. Whatever sign has the most will get a bonus for their sign, okay? So don't forget to hit the little thumbs up, you guys, so you can get the video out so more fire signs can watch to get the views up. And don't forget to leave your sign down in the comments so you guys can get a personal general read for you guys' um, particular sign. This is a general read, so it may or may not resonate with you. Take what does, leave what doesn't. Also, feel free to switch the energies here. This is an 1111 portal read for my fire signs, Leo, Aries, Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? One last time. And I think that's all the business you guys we have for right now. If you guys are interested in the personal, that information is located down below in the description box. Also, thank you guys for all you guys who have left donations or book with me. Um, it is truly, truly appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, I just hit myself a little hard, you guys. Um, the love is, is sitting back to you guys 10 times fold, okay? Also, if you'd like to leave a donation, the information to do that is located down below also in the description box. So let's get into this. Can I get three cards from my fire signs? Leo, Sag, Aries. What do they need to know for this 1111 portal? And I need them to jump. Three cards. For Sag, Leo, Aries, and I need them to jump. What do they need to know for the 1111 portal? I need them to jump completely out. Sag, Leo, Aries. I feel like you guys are being stubborn right now. Why? Or someone around you is being stubborn, or you feel like somebody is being stubborn. Holding back. Aries, Leo, Sag, can I get three cards here and can they jump? Can I get two more? Uh oh. Hold on, guys. Can I get two more Aries Leo Sag and I need them to jump? What do they need to know for this 1111 portal? For my wonderful fire sign, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Why are you guys being so stubborn right now, huh? What's going on? That's three. I'll take them, okay? So at the bottom of the deck, we have seven heavenly virtues, keys to goodness. So I do feel like you guys are in a good place right now, Fire Sun. I do feel like you guys have been working on yourselves. Um, the first card out for you guys is competition. It says some encourage and self-confidence. So I do feel like um, you guys may be feeling a little lack here or um, afraid to move forward. That's why I feel like that stubbornness holding back, right? You guys, you guys are afraid to move forward. The second card we have for you is letting go. Learn to let go. Okay, so there's some things you need to let go. I feel like there's some past issues you need to let go of. Some things that you've still been holding on to. Some things that need to be healed here. With these butterflies here, I feel like you're going through a transformation. But with this spider web, I feel like you're caught. Like you're stuck in it and, and you're afraid to move forward. 
We have knowledge here. Seek the knowledge. So I do feel like you need to seek the truth here, okay? There is some, some truths that need to be spoken. Maybe you need to speak the truth. You're holding back. You're afraid to open up. You feel like you don't have the confidence to walk, um, not to walk away. You could be having to walk away from something. You don't have the self-confidence or the courage to walk away from something. That's for some of you guys. Some of you guys um, feel like you don't have the self-confidence to speak up, okay? Or you don't have all the knowledge or all the information about something here, okay? And then the last card we have for you guys, which is Archangel Raphael. This is provider of healing for mind, body, and soul. So this is saying that you guys are divinely connected. You guys do have a divine guidance. There is an angel there trying to help you heal these past hurts, these things that you are, are refusing to let go of. You have help. But I do feel like, um, look, there's butterflies here too. Transformation. It's time to release, to move forward, okay? It's time to leave this old cycle and move forward to a new cycle here. Aries, Leo, and Sag. Okay, so let's get into this. For my fire signs, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Cross watchers are welcome. If you're cross watching, please just feel flip the script, okay? Put yourself where you go in the story. Let me set this over a little bit. Thank you. One last time for my fire signs: Leo, Sag, and Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. And Venus. What's going on with them for this 1111 portal here? Name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. What's this competition here, Spirit? Can I get two cards? What do they need courage about? What, what's going on with their, their confidence for my fire signs? And that's usually not like you guys, you know. Um you're fiery, you know, you guys usually are the ones that are in control. What's going on here? Okay. So I see you're carrying some type of burden here, okay, about some type of choice you made or didn't make, okay? I do feel like either you chose the wrong direction or you walked away from something that could have been, um, hold on, you could have walked away from someone or something that was was a burden here okay or spirit is saying you need to walk away from something that's burdening you it's time to release let go of these burdens choose you here okay um but i do feel like you feel like you possibly could have made a wrong choice here by not choosing to walk away or or, or you chose the wrong person here and it's become a burden you just got to put yourself i hear three different stories okay so somebody chose the wrong person and and now it's a burden someone is um burdened about having to make a choice a decision about walking away and leaving and someone feels that a choice they made was the wrong choice and now they're burdened by this choice okay so like i said put yourself where you go in the story fire signs and this has to do with a commitment here okay some type of relationship something either long term um something that you were already in long term or something that you want a long term commitment with here okay What's this letting go? Learn to let go. Yeah, so someone wants to let go. So I feel like, Fire Sign, this is you wanting to release um, this past hurt, these past issues, because this is the Ten of Swords in reverse. When it's upright, this is being stabbed in the back. This is hurt. This is pain. This is, is, this is like repeated, being hurt repeatedly, okay? And you want to release these. You want to release these burdens here. So, I do feel like you're trying to manifest a new beginning here, and you're trying to heal. You're going through this transformation. I do feel like you're putting in the work here, fire sign. Yeah, and this could have to do with um, someone from, your from you know, a, a baby's mother, a baby's father, a husband, a wife, okay, with the emperor, emperor, empress energy here, okay? Um, you're releasing that here. Can I get one more card for this magician and letting go? 
Thank you. Cool. Yeah, you're looking towards the future now. You want to heal and you want to move forward. You're done dwelling in this negativity. You're done carrying these burdens here. You're done living in this past energy. No more. No more. You're manifesting new. You're ready to move forward. You're turning your back on all this drama. You're ready to have fun. You're ready to explore. You're ready for something new. You're ready to move forward here. You are letting go. You are releasing. And you're ready for something new. I feel like you're learning new techniques, new new ways to cope with this hurt or this pain. Um, could possibly you've been reading up on how to how to you know cope or deal with hurt or pain or stress. Um, but you you've been seeking knowledge. You could went and talk to somebody. You could possibly be seeking counsel with um, a doctor, a psychiatrist, someone of that nature, um, pastor. Teacher, talking to someone that's helping you heal from this past burdens here, okay? What's this knowledge? Seek knowledge. Thank you. They could possibly be dealing with a cancer here as well, but this is you moving forward, okay? This is you coming out of that hurt, that pain. This is you saying, okay, I, I'm i healed, and now I'm moving towards my, my future here quickly. You know, I'm ready. I, I've done the work here. Can I get one more card for the, the chariot and the knowledge for my Leo Scorpio? I mean, not Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Scorpio too, okay? Leo, Sag, and Aries. Yeah, you're moving forward towards a new positive love. And I do feel like this is a love for yourself here, okay? Um, putting this into you. Um, you also could be moving towards someone that you made a wrong decision towards in the past. And, and you're realizing that. This person was your future. Now you're moving towards them to offer them a cup of love here as well. You, you, you learned some things about yourself. You got some knowledge about this situation, this relationship here, okay? And now you want to move forward. This Archang Archangel Raphael here. Can I get two cards? Heal your mind, body, and spirit. I do feel like you want to move forward and heal some things here with some people, okay? Um... Moving towards the future. Healing yourself and healing some relationships here. Yeah, so the first card out for you guys was judgment. I feel like this is you awakening. This is you leveling up. This is you coming out of the cocoon after this butterfly stage. Okay? This is you coming out as the butterfly. This is the healing here. Okay? And this butterfly is here as well. Butterflies. I feel like you're no longer hung up. Okay, you could possibly be dealing with a water sign here, Pisces with the hangman, but you're no longer hung up. You're healing, and you're no longer hung up about the commitment here, or wanting to work in this, or putting in some effort to a commitment here with someone. Okay, you have decided that you want to heal the situation. You want to move forward to someone. You want to offer them. Um, your cup of love, you've healed and, and you realize that with them in this commitment is where you want to be here. Okay, fire sign. So I do see you moving forward towards this person quickly to offer this cup of love to try to heal this situation, okay? No longer hung up. No longer, no longer stuck in your head about this um, commitment. Probably wanting to move in together, celebrate this relationship here. One last time for my fire sign, Leo, Aries, and Sag. One final time. Okay, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, this is the Kipper deck, you guys. So let's see if we can get some final messages. Any final messages from my fire sign? But it's 11 11 portal. Any final messages from my final, for my fire signs? Any final messages from my final fire signs? Final fire messages. Shoot. That's a tongue twister. I'm going to go one more time. Final messages from my fire signs. Okay. Anything else? Okay. So at the bottom of the deck, we had community. So I do feel like you guys are, are walking away. From um, things that no longer serve you and moving towards um, things that's, that, that benefit you here, okay? 
um, things that are going to make you happy, um, family, friends, things that, that lift you up, not things that take away from you, okay? So your final message, there, I do feel like there's going to be an end to this, this, this hurt. You felt lack. You felt like someone stole your emotions, your feelings, your heart. They did you wrong. They left you out neglected, okay? <laughs> you feel like they stole from you. They were a thief, okay? You feel like this person came in and they could have played with your feelings, your emotions, your heart. Um, they did you wrong. You chose the wrong person. But I do feel like you're healing from this, okay? <laughs> Look, and you're moving forward here with the distant horizons. You're no longer going to be in this energy. This black cat here is good luck. You're coming out of this negative energy dealing with this rat-ass person here, okay? Um... The rat that put you in this situation, put you in these feelings, you're done with that. You got good luck coming in here and you're moving forward here. Could possibly be taking a trip, could possibly be traveling somewhere with the holidays coming in. Um, could be going on a cruise, could be going to the mountains here, snow, you know, snow times or something like that. Fun snow days here. Um, but there, uh, there's a coming together here. Some type of moving forward. I do feel like you're um, going to make this this move forward within the next 24 hours to four weeks. Because this is the family room card. This card is about time. It's also about coming together with family. So I do feel like you, Fire Sign, are going to go towards your person here within the next 24 hours to four weeks. Okay? To profess your feelings. To try to heal and mend the situation here. Anything else here, Spirit? Thank you. Yeah, um, I do feel like you're in your head about this, okay? It's this is this is hard for you to move forward because this past hurt took a lot. It it took a lot. It hurt a lot. It it damaged. But I do feel like you're healing. And you it took a lot of work to heal so that you can move forward to this new love. Move forward to this person. And and no longer be hung up about being in a commitment with someone else. I feel like you are releasing the energy and the ties to whoever this person was that put you in this poverty, thievish, emotional. Because I feel like this is all emotion. I don't really think someone actually stole your money. If they did, they could have. But I don't feel. I feel like this is someone that stole your heart. They broke your heart. They broke you down. They took everything. <laughs> they took your life. I feel like they took your life, and you're just now starting to get your light back. And it was hard, though. It took a lot of work to start to shine again. And you're shining now, okay? Your light, you're lighting back up. You're connecting. Your heart is healing here. And you're moving forward here, fire signs, okay? Move forward. Move forward to this new relationship, okay? Leave the past in the past. And don't allow your past to dictate your future, okay? Trust. Trust in your intuition. Trust in your own knowing. Trust in God, universe, that, that you are protected, that you are well taken care of, okay? So until next time, my beautiful fire signs, love, light, and peace. Don't forget to hit the little thumbs up so more fire signs can, can view the video and you guys get the bonus video. And don't forget to leave your, your um, sign down in the comments so you guys need a bonus video for your particular sign. So until next time, bye my peeps.